Hey there, it's Tom Corson Knowles, international best selling author of Facebook for Business Owners and founder of TCK Publishing. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Google Hangouts to record videos, interviews. Uh, you can use it as like a free webinar for your audience uh, just to give value and hang out with people as well. Uh, it's great for conversations as well with multiple people. So instead of doing a Skype chat with like five or six or 10 people, you can do a Google Hangout, it can be a whole lot easier. So as the organizer of a, hang of a Google Hangout, here's what you do to get one started. So log into your Google Plus account. If you don't have one yet, if you've got Gmail or any other Google account, you can create a Google Plus account for free and attach it to that account, it's super easy. Uh, so once you're logged into your Google Plus account, just go click at home up top on the left and scroll down to click Hangouts. All right, now next thing you wanna do here is click Schedule a Hangout on Air and you have to give it a name, so let's call this one Hangout Test. You can write, tell people on who are following you on Google Plus or who you invite, tell them what it's about. You don't have to do that. You can schedule it for right now or later. Uh, if you're gonna start one right now, just go ahead and hit now. And you can set your audience. So you can make it public or you can kind of make it private. So if you don't want everyone to find out, if it's like a private interview, you don't want other people uh, you know, checking out, just go ahead and unclick public here. Uh, and then if you want people, you know, you, you especially want to invite people um, uh, to listen in and, and to hear the interview, but not actually participate, but actually just watch and, on the Google Hangout, you can type them into the audience right here. Now, once that's done, just go ahead and hit share. You actually have to do something here. You have to have some kind of audience here. Okay, now once you've done that, the event has been created, but it actually hasn't started yet. So. Here is like the event page, um, and you can use this, you can send people to this page. Uh, but the, what I would normally do is just go ahead and hit start. And it's gonna open up a new window here. And this is the point where you can start to invite guests. So you can type in your guest email right here, and Google will send them an automatic uh, invitation. You can also set it here so guests have to be 18 or older to join the call. I don't really know why you would do that. Uh, so go ahead and I'll hit skip there. And what I normally do is I just take this link right here, I'll copy paste the link, and I will send that link out to people by email who I want to, to be on the Hangout. Now once that's all done, uh, you notice there's this loading thing right here. So Google's kind of loading uh, the interview right now. So it's not ready yet, you can't start recording, it's not recording yet. Um, but what I'm using, I'm using Camtasia right now. So Camtasia is actually recording this video right here. So I always run Camtasia as well as Google Hangouts just to make sure I have a backup. I've never had a problem with Google Hangouts. It always just automatically records and backs up the video right to YouTube. But just in case, I always like to have two things to record on. So then once you're ready, once the other party has joined you, you're ready to start a public Hangout uh, and to start recording, go ahead and hit Start Broadcast. And it's gonna say, hey, you're, you're about to go live on Google Plus and on YouTube, is that all right? And you hit, okay, I'm gonna go live. And as soon as you hear that ding and it says, uh, you're live right there, you're live. So now Google is recording everything right here. The Hangout is live, people can tune in and watch, uh, it's being recorded, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there's some things you might want to know about Google Hangouts, just how to use it and make it a better experience for you. So the control room, here you can, uh, you can moderate people's audio levels, um, you can turn video on and off, so I, like, I can turn my video off right now, I can mute myself, unmute myself, uh, and you can do the same thing for other parties as well. So if someone's got background noise, you want to mute them, just go ahead and mute them right next to there. Uh, if they've got video that looks funky or you don't want to show, um, you can turn that off as well. So that's pretty much how you use Google Hangouts. Um, there are other tools here, so you can do Q&A. There's a chat box up here. You can type to people in the chat. Um, you can put links in the chat, things like that. You can take questions from your audience in the chat and answer them on the Hangout. And uh, so that's pretty much it. You can also use Google Effects, actually. It's kind of a weird thing. So if you turn your video on and go to Google Effects, you can put these little effects on you, like a little hat. You can put some hearts over your head. You can become a dog. And some other really, really random stuff. I don't, I'm not really sure, again, <laughs> why you would ever use this professionally, but it can be kind of fun. So that's just some of the things you can do uh, with Google Hangouts. And I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, once you hit Stop Broadcast, it'll stop recording. And what happens after it stops recording is back on this page here, you'll actually be able to play the video. So the video's been recorded and Hangouts finished. 
it'll take a few minutes to render usually and then uh, after a few minutes it'll be posted to the YouTube account. Now in order to record the broadcast in the first place you'll have to set up a YouTube account attached to your Google Plus account. So uh, if they're not attached, um, you know, Google Plus will just say, hey look you need to um, attach the two accounts and it'll make you log in to the different accounts and, and sync them together. Um, but once that's set up then it'll post right to YouTube. It usually takes like five minutes to render it on YouTube and then it'll be live on YouTube and uh, you can go you know, to your normal YouTube account, edit the video if you want. You can download the MP4 straight from YouTube and edit it, uh, change it up and then re-upload it if you want. Uh, but that's pretty much the gist of how you use Google Hangouts to record uh, an awesome Hangout interview or whatever you want to do. Okay, hope this video has been helpful for you. Wishing you an incredible day. Uh, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more great video tutorials on uh, stuff like technology, walkthroughs, and uh, how to publish books, how to become a best-selling author, how to become an expert in your field, and how to attract people online to your business. So wishing you an incredible day. Take care.